You are welcome to another video of ISIS routing protocol concept and configuration. In this section, we will have an ISIS IPv6 single topology configuration example. By single topology, it means IPv4 and IPv6 have the same topology. When IPv4 and IPv6 have different topology, it is called multiple topology, which will be discussed in the next section. The ISIS protocol is an extensible protocol and can advertise different types of addresses such as IPv4 and IPv6. This is because ISIS protocol is based on TLV. That means to advertise a new address field, it is enough to add a new TLV specifying the type, length, and the value of the new field. And there is no need to completely change the format of the packet. For this reason, the ISIS protocol is one of the few protocols that did not need to be rewritten to advertise IPv6, but only a new TLV was added to this protocol that provides the ability to advertise IPv6 addresses. In this topology where both IPv4 and IPv6 are addressed, we want to show how IPv6 is configured alongside IPv4 in ISIS routing protocol, this is a single topology configuration example since wherever IPv4 address is configured, we also have an IPv6 address. Uh, in a single topology configuration example, we enable ISIS for IPv4 with IP router ISIS command as we have seen in the previous section. And at the same time, we enable ISIS for IPv6 with IPv4 router ISIS command. The other configurations are the same as the previous examples. The type of IS is configured level one in router L1 and level two in router L2. The type of IS in router L1-L2 is both level one and level two by default but we configure the interface connected to L2 rotor as level two and the interface connected to the rotor L1 as L1 with the command ISI circuit type level one and ISI circuit type level two. But in the rotor L1 with the command IS type level one and IS type level two only in rotor L2, we configure these rotors as level one or level as we can see, implementing ISIS on IPv4 and IPv6 protocol does not require configuring and running two independent ISIS process. Rather, ISIS is able to advertise both type of addresses in just one LSP, but with two different types of TLV. To implement some features of ISIS, such as summarization, in both IPv4 and IPv6 separately, the address family command will be used to separate the configuration of IPv4 and IPv6. Just to show you, for example, in router ISIS, with the address family, we have the options to enter the context of IPv4 or the context of IPv6 to configure a specific configuration for IPv4 or IPv6 context. The output of level two rotor database, the command show ISIS database contains three LSP. It stands from one of the rotors in this topology. If we look at the database detail output, the detail at the end of this command and NLPID field, you can see that two TLV number CC and 8E were sent from two rotors, level one, level two, and also level two, one of which is related to the IPv4 addresses and the other related to IPv6 addresses. What is noticeable here is that both addresses are sent in the same LSP and not different LSP, but with two different TLVs. 